Okay, I am Dr. Vakas Fazal and in this video we are going to talk about Venturi mask. We are going to discuss that what is a Venturi mask, how do you set up a Venturi mask and we are also going to discuss the different indications of Venturi mask as well as the mechanism on which it works. First of all, I will discuss the different parts and how do you set it up. Let's get started. Now within this bag of Venturi mask, you receive a few things. First of all, we have this aerosol mask, our oxygen mask, corrugated tubing, oxygen tubing or oxygen line. This is the most important part. These devices are called as fixed orifice devices. These fixed orifice devices actually are the main component of Venturi mask that give the fixed amount of oxygen to the patient. We'll open up this bag now. Within this bag, we have different Venturi masks. These different colors actually are for different amount of oxygen they deliver through this mask. Now, if you have let's say orange one, if the orange one is applied to this mask, it will give 50% oxygen to the patient and 50% air will enter. Now, how we will set this up? First of all, you will take the oxygen mask. You will attach the corrugated tubings like this. And on this end, you will attach this part of the Venturi mask like this. Now, a very common mistake that people do is that they ignore this plastic container. This is called as an air entrainment collar. This air entrainment collar is a very important part of Venturi mask. This air entrainment collar is put in like this. This is fixed over here like this and over here we will attach the oxygen tubing. The oxygen tubing is attached over here like this. So this is how the Venturi mask is set up. Patient applies this mask to the face, you fix it over the nose and then these are the exhalation holes where when the, uh, when the patient exhales the air, the air goes out from here. This is the corrugated tubing attached to the Venturi mask of specific percentage and this pl plastic container is over it. Now, what is the purpose of this plastic container? We will understand the purpose of this plastic container now. First of all, when you attach the oxygen tubing to the oxygen source, this oxygen tubing will be receiving 100% oxygen. In the oxygen tubing, there will be 100% oxygen. And when the oxygen enters this part of the mask, when it enters the fixed orifice device, in this part of the mask, the oxygen gets diluted. Why it gets diluted? Because when the oxygen enters from here to here, the, from these holes, air enters from outside air is sucked in from outside and when air gets mixed with oxygen the oxygen gets diluted now how much air will enter this mask is decided by the different colors of the fixed orifice devices let's say if you have orange one it will give 50 percent of oxygen it means that it will be diluting the 100 percent oxygen to 50 percent 50 percent air will enter from outside if you are applying the white one, if the white one is applied, it will be delivering 31% oxygen and rest will be the air. If you are, let's say, applying the blue one, the blue one is giving 24% oxygen. Rest of it will be the air from outside. So basically, these fixed jet orifices are actually diluting the air. Now, 
when you have fixed the tube with the venturi mask and venturi mask is giving the uh, oxygen from here and it is getting the air from outside through these holes if you do not apply this plastic container what will happen is that if the patient moves and if patient puts his hand on this or if the clothes come over this the amount of air that will be diluting will go down and suddenly the oxygen concentration will go high the concentration of oxygen delivered to the patients will be increased because these holes are blocked if a patient puts hand if there is a cloth on, over here or if the if these touch the patient's clothes or if the patient puts blanket over these these holes will be blocked and air cannot enter from outside and the amount of oxygen going from this tubing will be increased the percentage of oxygen will not be fixed anymore the percentage of oxygen entering the mask will increase therefore this entrainment collar this air entrainment collar is fixed around it and it does not let the holes get blocked even if this part gets blocked air can enter from this side even if this side gets blocked air can enter from this side so this is the purpose of air entrainment collar now i'll be discussing the different fixed orifice devices that we have and how do they work the blue one blue one has 24 percent written over it which means is that it gives 24 percent oxygen to the patient and it dilutes the oxygen to seven with 76 percent air so there is one another important thing that you need to remember is that when you connect this uh, device to the oxygen line and you connect the other end to the oxygen source there is another important thing written over these devices is the, the amount of oxygen that you have to start from the source now on this blue one there is written 2 liter per minute 2 lpm 2 liters per minute means that you have to start the oxygen source the oxygen source that you have you start the oxygen source from around 2 liters per minute because that is enough to give 24 percent oxygen to the patient because this uh, this device is giving less oxygen so less oxygen from the source is enough for it from the source you start the oxygen from 2 liters per minute now in the yellow one yellow one delivers almost 28 percent oxygen and you can start the oxygen source from 4 liters per minute the white one delivers 31% oxygen and you can start the oxygen source from 6 liters. The green one delivers 35% oxygen and you can start the oxygen source from 8 liters per minute. The pink one is giving 40% oxygen to the patient. Now, since the pink one is giving more oxygen to the patient, you have to start the oxygen from a higher level. You have to start from 8 liters per minute. The orange one gives the maximum oxygen to the patient and that is 50%. And you start it from 10 liters per minute. Because it is giving maximum oxygen, you have to start the oxygen source from 10 liters per minute to fulfill the needs. So this is an important point that you need to remember that not all these devices, all these Venturi masks uh, uh, require high flow oxygen. You can start from 2 liters and you can end up with 10 liters depending upon the device you are using, the different colors that you are using. Now, in which patients do you use Venturi mask? A simple thing to remember is the patients developing CO2 retention. Any patient in which you perform ABGs and the ABGs show high level of carbon dioxide in the blood with a normal oxygen saturation level. It means that that patient is developing CO2 retention despite having a normal oxygen level and it is most commonly seen in patients of COPD. In COPD patients what you will see is that they will be having chronic CO2 retention or they will be re they will present to you with exacerbation and now they are retaining co2 or in any other pathology where the patient is retaining carbon dioxide in that case the first step is to change the simple mask to the venturi mask venturi mask will help the ca carbon dioxide to get washed out from the blood if in any case 
the venturi mask you applied the venturi mask and the patient is still retaining carbon dioxide in that case you need to escalate you need to escalate to bipap in bipap We'll discuss about BiPAP in detail in another video. But remember, if the Venturi mask is not uh, making the carbon dioxide go out from the blood, it is not washing out carbon dioxide, it is failing to do its purpose, it means that patient needs BiPAP now. So the patients that are retaining carbon dioxide will most likely require Venturi mask to wash out the carbon dioxide. And most commonly, these are the patients of COPD that will require Venturi mask. Why COPD patients? Because COPD patients are having chronic retention of carbon dioxide in blood and with that in COPD patients you cannot give 100% oxygen. Remember in COPD patients you have to maintain the oxygen saturation between 88 to 92 because they are having hypoxic drive. If you give 100% oxygen to COPD patient their respiratory drive will shut down because a certain amount of hypoxia drives their respiratory system and if you give 100% oxygen to these patients of COPD their respiratory drive will shut down their respiratory rate will slow down in COPD patient you always give 88 to 92% of oxygen and that's you give via a venturi mask because it will give some air from outside it will never give 100% oxygen and it will give a fixed FiO2 so in COPD patients remember you use a Venturi mask so this was all about Venturi mask if you liked my video please click on the subscribe button and check out my next video on NRM mask I have explained the NRM mask in detail in that video I've also made playlists on different lectures of medicine including emergency medicine infectious medicine as well as ECG lectures. The link of those videos are also given in the description below. Thank you very much.